Hey guys! Hi! Today we are going to make pizza! Yes, you can still have pizza and keto and we are going to show you how we make our fathead dough which is like really infamous in keto. In the it's keto very, sphere. very popular <laughs> for um, keto and it yep. doesn't just have to be used for pizza. The dough, no. there's lots of applications. Yes. But it first um, got its fame from um, a movie called Fathead. Um, Tom Norton, if you haven't watched that movie, it actually yeah, is really a really good, good movie. Yeah. Um, but this is our take on it, so it's slightly different. We like to add a bit of coconut flour so that we can add a little less almond flour and it helps with the carbs a little bit. Um, but yeah, you can. it's really versatile. It doesn't have to be used for pizzas. Once you've got the dough, you, I've seen people make like calzones and empanadas and use it for like a pie crust. So yeah, and sweets as yeah, well. Yeah, like, like a, a Danish scroll. kind of thing, yeah. croissants, that type of thing. Okay. So let's just go through, we've got all our ingredients ready here. So we have got the dry ingredients in this bowl. So there is half a cup of almond flour, quarter a cup of coconut flour, teaspoon of baking powder and some salt. So we're just going to mix that together. And just for the full ingredients and everything, there's a link in the description below with like step-by-step -step photos yeah. and everything so you can check that out so you just want to combine the dry ingredients together so just so it all looks the same right yeah yeah just so there's no big lumps of baking powder or anything okay so that's all done and then we've got one egg here Dan if you just want to whisk that up and then in here we have two and a quarter cups of shredded mozzarella and then 60 grams which I think was two, two ounces. ounces of cream cheese. So how you make the dough, like it's kind of the base of the dough is really the cheese as opposed to, you know, like a flour kind of dough that you would normally make. So what you do is melt the cheese until it's basically like a liquid and then we'll add in the other ingredients. So we're just going to do this um, in the microwave. So we just do it on high for about a minute at a time, just stirring in between until it gets to um, all kind of combined completely together and it's really stringy because of the mozzarella isn't it yeah it's almost like a liquid basically uh, so we have had it in the microwave for a minute and as you can see the cheese has kind of started to melt so you want to stir that up when it's yeah I think so yeah give, give it, it a stir because you just want it to be all you can see how it's kind of getting really melty already so I think, I mean, it depends on the power of your microwave as well, how long it's going to take, but I would definitely want it a bit more than that, but it's looking pretty good so far. Go for another minute? Yep. Okay, guys, so we've just had it in for another minute, and you can see now it's, much different. it's really like a it's hot, very hot, it looks like completely hot combined sauce. and really liquid. Okay, now the thing is you want to work quite quickly because the cheese will start to harden. So we're just going to add in our dry ingredients. Get them in the bowl, Erica. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to quick start stirring these up. Now it will seem like it's not going to come together, but don't panic. Just keep working it. So once we've got the dry ingredients combined a little bit, then we're going to add in our egg. So initially I just like using a spoon to try and get it combined a little bit. And then we'll change over to our hands is the easiest way to work it. Do you just go onto the bench? Um, or do you want some baking paper? I'll just do it in the bowl initially. Oh, right. We'll put it on the baking paper eventually, but just kind of work it. Now it seems like it's not going to come together, but trust me it will. If at any point you feel like the cheese has gotten really hard, you can always just pop it back in the microwave for like 15, 20 seconds just to kind of soften it up a bit. But you I can know see, that we have had to do that before. Yeah, particularly if it's winter. Oh, like it's hot yeah. here now, so it's fine. But you can see already it's like coming together as more of a dough. Like magic. Like magic. Look at that. It looks like pastry, right? Does oh, it looks really good? Okay, so you just want to make sure you've worked it until there's not any obvious bits of. Um, also, be careful because the it's dough hot. can be quite hot. Is it hot now? Or? Yeah, it's still quite hot. Um, but I mean, that looks pretty good to me. It looks like all the cheese is combined. There's no obvious kind of dry bits or anything, and you can see to me like that really looks like a pastry you would it make, does. right? So. 
that makes two serves of two, a pizza dough for us, right? Two, two whole doughs. pizzas. Yeah. Yep. And normally we would do half a pizza Each. as a serve, but that's a big serve as well. So, so right. So now we've got our dough. Now, you, you, again, you have to work with it while it's warm. So you want to roll it out or whatever you want to do with it straight away, because as the cheese like hard it like you know cools down it's gonna so there's no resting it or any, there's no yes. need to rest it or yeah, anything like that exactly so what we'll do now is get out some baking paper because the easiest way to do it is to roll it between baking paper so can i ask you around when you get it to this place yeah can you stick that in the freezer like that uh you could i would probably roll it out to the shape i want okay yeah um or we like to pre-cook it and then put it in the freezer. So get it to the base yeah, so it's I think cooked so. and then you could use it later on. Yes. So I've just got half of the dough now that we made. I'm just going to press it out on this baking paper. This is a good way. I mean, it's, it is a bit um, fiddly to work with sometimes. So it's a good idea, I think, just to press it out. Start getting the shape that you want before you start rolling it. And then we're going to put another piece of baking paper on the top so it doesn't stick. And then we're just going to roll it out. So this is half of the dough. So we should get two pizza bases out of this dough. And it's really filling. So when we make it, we normally cook both the bases, pop it in the freezer, and then cook one of them with yeah. the toppings on it Correct. for the um, meal. So. Toppings. Let's talk. <laughs> Let's talk pizza toppings. toppings. So, really, you can use any of yeah, your favourite toppings. Probably not ham and pineapple. <laughs> Got to skip um, the pineapple. A few things to consider when using this, I guess, compared to regular dough, um, is that you don't want anything that's too wet because it can get a little soggy. So, I tend to use as my base like maybe a pesto or like a drier tomato sauce than something really wet because you don't want it to get soggy and the other thing is we like to have all the ingredients that are going on top already cooked because when yes. we're putting it in the oven to cook for the second time the around the edge can kind of brown up quite quickly so make sure everything's cooked and you're really just kind of melting the cheese and heating it up but yeah, sorry Dan, you were going to say your favourite. Dan is a big pizza lover, so. <laughs> it was my favourite pre-keto food by far. I was a big meat lovers kind of fan. <laughs> so we would um, sometimes do like some shredded chicken, some pepperoni. Yep. Um, if we had a leftover sausage. Um, really, any, if we were doing like a meat lovers or a meat based one, we would just put any meat that we like. Pulled pork is also very good. Yeah, and you could use sugar free barbecue sauce yeah. on the bottom. And um, other ones we've done, oh, we have a recipe. For a Mexican yeah, chicken one. It's so delicious. good. Yum. Yeah, love the Mexican one. chicken one. I love so just good. pepperoni with like a red pesto base. And, and cheese. And then pepperoni and cheese. That's probably my favourite. Yep. Um, you can also do like a capricosa. That was what the yeah. that was our favourite topping when we Ham, had regular pizza. Mushrooms, olives, olives, maybe some artichokes or something. Yep. Delicious. Lots of options. You really, you can <laughs> get as experimental with your <laughs> toppings as you like. Just keep what you put on top keto, and you'll be good to go. Yes. Okay. So we've got it all rolled out here. So you can really choose your own however thick you like it. We like that it quite perfect. thin. So you've got your dough here ready to do whatever you like. Um, you could experiment with any type of pastry thing, but what we're going to make is a pizza base. So we've got it ready to go here. We'll, I'm just going to leave it on this piece of baking paper um, and pop it on a tray and we'll put it into the oven. Now we had the oven preheated uh, 200 degrees, was it? Dan? Or 400 yeah. degrees Fahrenheit. So you need to pre-cook the base. Sorry, I probably should have said that before. Not like a traditional pizza dough. So we're going to cook it for about five to seven minutes on this side. And then we're going to flip it over and cook it on the other side. So we'll pop it in the oven. Okay, guys, we've just got it out of the oven after the first five minutes. And you can see it's kind of um, puffed up a bit. That's okay. It'll go back down. And it started to get kind of a bit golden around the side. So now we want to flip it over and cook it for another five minutes. That was five. That was five, yeah. but now we're going to do another five. 
So the easiest way I find to flip it over is just to use the other piece of baking paper I was using before. Just be careful um, of the hot tray. <laughs> nice. And then just gently peel this. So it's already off. slightly baked. Yeah, on the bottom. it is actually. Um, but you can see it's still a bit soft. So it might so, not even need the full five minutes. No, you've you really got to keep an eye, eye, on, eye on, it. on it. And it depends on your oven, as we say in every everyone. Okay, cool. Yeah, so it probably doesn't need too long. I can I can just see it is a bit soft in the middle there, but around here it looks fine. So I'll probably just pop it in for another three or four minutes just to make sure it's all completely set before we put our toppings on. Ooh. Okay, so that was an extra three minutes. So we did five on one side and three on the other and you can see it has kind of hardened up in the middle there a bit. So I think that's better. Um, so this is good to go now. So you can pop your toppings on there, whatever you choose and then pop it back into the oven just to melt the cheese and cook the toppings but just keep an eye on it because around the edge it can start to kind of darken up and we've also got the rest of the dough we've just rolled out into another pizza base we're going to cook that up then I'll just wrap it up in plastic wrap and pop it in the freezer and we've got an easy Friday night dinner sometimes. So stupid question but if you're going to freeze it let it cool completely and then put Correct. it in the freezer. Correct yeah yep. cool completely then wrap it up then put it in the freezer. Yeah, so as I said, we've got the full description of how to make it. There's a link below if you want all the ingredients and all those type of things. And there's more topping suggestions and stuff yes. in that post too. So have a look at different yeah. ones we've come up with before. For sure. But we hope you found this video useful. Definitely try Fathead Pizza. It is delicious. If you're a pizza fan, give it a go. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but it's really yummy. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comments your favourite pizza topping for sure because we're always open to trying new things. Okay, so if you liked this video guys, make sure you give it a thumbs up because it helps us. Um, also, subscribe to our channel. Um, we're doing a lot more videos like this. Um, cooking, recipes. Grocery uh, hauls. Yeah. Our keto travels. So follow along. We would love to have you. Thank you so much. Bye.